So you're thinking of retiring in Reno, then you might want to stick around. Hey everyone, it's David Tully. Today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of three of the top retirement communities in the Reno area. One is located in Northwest Reno, and the other two are located in South Reno. So if you like this type of content, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions about any of the communities I talked about today, just leave them down in the comments below. And if you're thinking about moving or relocating to the Reno area and you just need help, reach out. I'd be happy to take great care of you. All right, so the first community I want to talk about is called Sierra Canyon by Del Webb, and it's located in Somerset, which is in the northwest part of Reno, and it's in the master plan community of Somerset, which is a golf course community. It has two golf courses, one 18-hole and one 9-hole golf course. It's an absolutely awesome community. The next thing I want to talk about is the clubhouse. You know, I think you'll absolutely love it. It's almost 19,000 square feet. It's called the Aspen Lodge and you know you have all the amenities you could possibly want. You got tennis, you got pickleball, you got outdoor hot tubs and spas and you know if you want to do a little working out you know they have an awesome fitness center with weights and treadmills and bikes and you know an awesome indoor heated pool you know and if you want to do some running they have a they have an indoor running track upstairs which is pretty awesome. And if you feel like just lounging, you know, you can head out back to the beautiful patio area and check out the beautiful scenic views of the mountains and the Sierras and Peavine, depending on where you are, and, and just relax. It's so awesome. I absolutely love this clubhouse and the patio area. All right, so you want to know what the neighborhood looks like. This should give you a good understanding of the Del Webb community at Sierra Canyon. The smallest model here is about 1,200 square feet, and they have models that are over 2,400 square feet. Prices range from about the mid 300s to about the high 300s, all the way up to seven to eight hundred thousand, depending on what you're looking for. And Del Webb finished building in this area in about 2017. So if you're looking for a new home, this you know definitely might not be the community for you. You know, if you're looking for a resale home and you're looking for some gorgeous mountain views, it could be a good spot. But like I said, the only thing they're going to have here is resale homes. They have about 1200 homes in the area so it's about double the size of the other toll brother communities in south reno which i'm going to be talking about here shortly so we're going to keep driving down give you a better understanding and if you also want to know about how far away you are from amenities you have a tiny little mini mart and a tap house and a sushi spot at the town center which is about six to eight minutes away you know, and if you want bigger grocery stores, urgent cares, you know, coffee shops, restaurants, bars, you know, you're going to have to add about three to four minutes to that and head down to the Rob Drive area. So, you know, that should give you a better understanding of where it's at. You're about 15 minutes from downtown Reno, which, you know, has a lot more amenities, restaurants, bars, things to do, and also, you know, St. Mary's Hospital and Renown Hospital. So, you know, it's pretty pretty easy access and if you don't want to take the Somerset Parkway down to Rob Drive to get to some of the amenities you can take the back route which takes you out of Somerset and lets you hop on to 80 east or west so you can hop on 80 east there you know take a quick drive down to Rob Drive and you hit all the amenities again but it's it's honestly very comparable whether you take Somerset Parkway and go through the you know the handful of roundabouts or if you take the freeway, it's not too different, honestly. All right, so the next community we're at is located in South Reno. It's called Regency at Damani Ranch by Toll Brothers, and it's one of their newest communities that was finished just a couple of years ago. It's about half the size of Sierra Canyon at Del Webb, at about 650 homes, but it's got a beautiful clubhouse, beautiful area, and very close to a lot of amenities. All right, now we have the beautiful clubhouse at Regency at Damani Ranch. Clubhouse is about 18,000 square feet and it's absolutely amazing. You're going to be having an indoor pool and spa, an awesome fitness center with all the weights, you know, cardio machines you could possibly want. There's also an aerobics and a dance studio. There's also a game room with billiards and an awesome lounging area. Outdoors, you're going to find tennis courts, pickleball, and bocce courts. There's also going to be a bunch of walking and biking trails throughout the community. And not only do you have access to the Regency Clubhouse, you will have access to the Presidio Clubhouse as well, which is really nice. The Presidio people will not have access to your Regency Clubhouse, which is really great. There's also an outdoor pool and an awesome playground area for the kids at the Presidio area. 
All right, so we're gonna take you through Regency at Damani Ranch, give you a feel for the neighborhood. You know, one of the best parts of Damani Ranch is all the awesome walking trails you have nearby. You know, you see a lot of people walking in this community, which is great, but if you go just a couple minutes away and you hit Damani Ranch Park, you're gonna see the beautiful wetlands and you're gonna have miles of walking trails, views of Mount Rose, and you're just gonna really appreciate Damani Ranch. And another awesome part about this community is you're so close to so many amenities. I mean, you have Safeway nearby that'll be done by the end of the year, Home Depot, Office Max, Twisted Fork, you know, you got coffee shops, pizza spots. Overall, it's just a very convenient location and that's just a few minutes away. If you wanna go, you know, three to four minutes away, you know, three to four minutes further than that, I mean, you'll hit Renown Hospital, Smith's Grocery, Sprouts Grocery, Winco, you know, South Creek Pizza, the Apple Store, and many, many more. So it's a very convenient location and it's probably why a lot of people really like the South Reno area. And this community was completed about two years ago, so you're only gonna be able to buy a resale home in this community. So if you're looking for a customizable, brand new, new home, you know, this isn't gonna be the community for you. But if you don't mind buying a resale home and, and you know, waiting a little bit to find the perfect home in this neighborhood, you can definitely find a great home, but it's gonna be a little bit competitive as you know, the Reno Sparks Mark is a little tough at the moment. Overall, you know, the Del Webb neighborhood's great, Damani Ranch neighborhood's great. This is a little bit smaller at 650 homes, but you know, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed in this neighborhood as well. All right, last but not least, we're at Regency at Caramella Ranch by Toll Brothers in South Reno, which is located right between Damani Ranch and Curdy Ranch, you know, if you're kind of familiar with the area. And it's actually the only community in all of Reno where you can buy a brand new customizable retirement home. So if you wanna make some customizations and you don't want a resale home, this is definitely the community for you. But keep in mind, the build time is about 12 to 14 months. So you know, depending on when you're gonna retire here, if it's a year, two, three years, you might wanna act sooner rather than later because they also work on a lottery system. So, you know, it could take you one to five months to even get a lot. And then that 12 to 14 month build time. So it really just depends on your situation and what you wanna do. But I think this is one of the best up and coming communities. And it's an amazing area with a lot of amenities nearby. All right, next up we have the awesome clubhouse at the Regency at Caramella Ranch in South Reno. And you're basically going to have everything you would possibly need here from pickleball courts to bocce courts and, you know, even an outdoor amphitheater. You're going to have a large fitness center with, you know, weights to treadmills to ellipticals. And there's also an aerobic room as well as an indoor and outdoor pool. So, you know, if you don't feel like working out, you could also lounge in some of the amazing areas they have and sit back and relax. They have a ton of indoor and outdoor areas with fire pits, as well as some awesome entertaining spaces with bars. All right, hopefully this gives you an idea of what the Regency at Caramella Ranch community looks like. There's gonna be beautiful Mount Rose views behind us. And if you're wondering about floor plans, we're looking at about 15 floor plans and about five to six of them are modeled. So if you want links to the floor plans, I'll leave them down in the description below. And I'll also leave a link to the clubhouse so you'll get a complete 3d walkthrough and you'll get a good idea of what it's looking like and if you're curious about price points we're gonna be at about 543,000 for the base model for the smallest model and about 763,000 for the biggest model base price as well you know most people spend about up to 75,000 in upgrades you certainly don't have to. A couple of my clients have recently spent only between thirty and fifty thousand dollars, so pretty reasonable overall. And you know, if you want to get an idea of the clubhouse right here, take a look at that. You got the tennis court right here, huge nineteen thousand square foot clubhouse. You know, they got pickleball, tennis courts, bocce ball, beautiful indoor sound, indoor pools outdoor fire pits beautiful lounging areas and i think you would absolutely love it look at that it was just finished recently and they're still doing some work on it but you know people are able to use it at the moment all right so if you look over here this is a beautiful 19,000 square foot clubhouse that they just recently completed looks like they're still doing a little bit of work in the back but overall it's absolutely amazing you got tennis courts bocce ball courts 
pickleball, beautiful indoor heated pools, you know, amazing fitness centers and several lounging areas indoor and outdoors. You know, and the beautiful outdoor areas have fire pits. It's just one of the most over the top clubhouses I've ever seen. It's absolutely gorgeous and I think you'll love it. And over here, we'll give you an idea of what the community looks like. You know, over here to the right and straight forward, you could see the beautiful views of Mount Rose. So depending on your, your lot, you know, you could have some views of Mount Rose, but it really just depends. You know, and if you don't like construction, you know, this might not be the community for you. And you know, you, go, you got a beautiful modern look to all these homes, look at that. And if you're wondering about floor plans, they have about 15 floor plans in this community. I know it's kind of crazy. And they have about five to six that are modeled. So if you want to walk through them, definitely come down to the sales office and check them out. I'd be happy to meet you as well. And prices range from about the 543 range, which is the base model for the smallest house, up to about 763 for the biggest house, which is a base model as well. And you know, just to give you an idea on upgrades, the average person at Toll Brothers spends about 75,000. Had a couple clients recently only spend about thirty to fifty thousand, but overall the standard finishes are very good too. You know, so the standards would be, you know, like a smaller tile, probably a sixteen or seventeen by seventeen, and you'd still get granite countertops and maple cabinets. But you know, if you wanted quartz or cherry, you know, you'd have to pay for those upgrades as well. But I think the Regency at Caramella Ranch is one of the most beautiful communities in the area. You're a little bit higher over here. So you can see the beautiful Mount Rose views. And this is one of the more finished streets to give you a better idea of what these homes look like. So as you can see, these lots aren't huge, but I imagine as a in a retirement community, a lot of people don't want a lot of yard work. So that's most likely why these lots are fairly small. And if you want a view or a bigger lot, you're gonna have to pay a lot premium. So hopefully this gives you a good overview of Regency at Caramella Ranch, which is one of the nicest communities in all of Reno. All right, so that about wraps it up, but if you're gonna be retiring in Reno and buying a house in any one of these communities, I really don't think you're gonna be disappointed. It really just depends on your situation and timeline. You know, if you're looking for a resale house, it's gonna be either the Del Webb Community in Somerset or Regency at Damani Ranch. And if you wanna build a brand new construction house and customize it a little bit, it's really only gonna be Regency at Caramella Ranch. So you're kinda of limited in regards to retirement communities. And I know a lot of people are gonna ask me, David, what are the HOA dues? So I'm gonna tell you. So the cheapest HOA dues are at Sierra Canyon at Del Webb in Somerset at $229 a month. The second cheapest, surprisingly, is at Regency at Caramella Ranch, this brand new community I'm at right now, which is $289 a month. And the most expensive is actually Regency at Damani Ranch by Toll Brothers, which is $357 a month. But, you know, that community is also part of Presidio. So half of the Regency at Damani Ranch community is not actually a 55 and over community, which is a little odd, I know, but I'm assuming that's why they have a slightly higher HOA cost. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this type of content, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions at all about any of the communities I talked about today, just leave them down in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And if you're thinking about moving or relocating the area and you just need help, reach out. I'd be happy to take great care of you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.